I'm like getting eaten alive here, guys. <sighs> Breaking news, she had a thought this morning. We did have a thought this morning. Look at her butt. It's so cool. No I'm serious, it'll <laughs> This is a disaster of a film. There's a psychopath. <laughs> Today is... Oh my gosh, we're in the last couple days of 2023. We are still in Key West and we're still staying at Sugarloaf and our friends Tyson and Christy with Forever RV and has been here for a few days. We are meeting up with them and going to Kiki Sandbar, which is in Little Torch Key. They are having a boat parade, a lighted Christmas boat parade and a drone show. But that's not till seven and it's like, almost four. We're getting there that early to try to get seats and to hold spots. It's gonna be a busy crowd, but I've been waiting to do this since we got down here and I'm so excited that we can finally go. Yeah. Welcome to Kiki's! It is New Year's Eve and we are headed out on a boat for the afternoon with Forever RVing. This is our first time actually getting on the open water since we've got here, <laughs> but I'm excited. I hope to see sharks. James is not awake. It's early. We did not get coffee. <laughs> I Red Bulls. That's all I got. I don't care. I'm running off of shark adrenaline.
We're trying to figure out if we can fit under this bridge. I don't think we're gonna make it. It. He's it's broken it. It's not coming. That's what she said. You know how to do it? Just hold it away from me. Jane has lots of shut both thumbs like that. It's like just every other time in his head. Don't point it toward anybody. Or any no team. I'm serious, it'll be like a gun with your car. That's what you all do. <laughs> it keeps coming this way more and more. Oh, it's almost there. Oh, almost there. Oh, it's got so much pressure. Happy New Year. Hey. 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 Dog walking with Amanda. <laughs> Professional hungover people. Yeah. I mean, that counts too, right? <laughs> There's also this one spot in this out sun outdoors that is literally the best spot to watch the sun set. And that's right here. So they have these rock, rock set up here because you can't drive through here even though people have done it before. So that's why they put the rocks up. As you can tell, it does mark one of the most beautiful sunsets that you'll see. I'll prove it. Look at all that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And just beyond the mangroves, which is kind of a lot, that's all ocean. I don't know if you guys do this too, but when you've been at a place, especially a place like longer, like we've been here for almost six weeks now, and even though you get here and you think that's plenty of time to do everything you want to do, it's always the last day, the last day that you're like, oh man, why didn't we do this? And why didn't we do more of that? And oh, we sh I wish we would have had time to do this, this, and this. We always run by that. <laughs> and that has definitely been our day today. As we're packing up, trying to get ready to go, we are also just constantly like, oh, I wish we would have more time. It's crazy because this place is amazing. 
It does live up to its hype, but it also has kind of been debunked for us, if that makes any sense. In like, in my head, it was this Key West is so crazy. There's so many people there. It's just so nuts that you can't, can't go, which is absolutely not the truth. Hold on, there's bikers coming. I'm gonna look like an idiot. You know, it's always when you want to film or you want to do something and then people decide to just linger. That's wonderful. It seems more real in that it's a tangible place that you can go to, but it doesn't seem as crazy as what I thought it was in my head. It is amazing walking down Duval Street, getting to the southernmost point, seeing the Key West sunsets, all worth the experience, all worth the drive down here. Now, here's the thing about Key West that I will tell you. It's expensive and it's getting even more expensive. To find a drink under $10, is next to impossible and finding just a cheeseburger under 15 also next to impossible gas prices are a dollar more than what you'll see on the mainland and groceries are marked up because where else are you gonna go when you're coming down here budget accordingly <laughs> i will say that we're happy to be leaving after this much time just solely for the expensiveness and the bugs the bugs are definitely driving us the heck out of here every bug spray everybody's recommended <laughs> we're to the point where i wear pants and hoodies even though it's warm because i'm just trying to keep myself from getting bitten even paradise has its problems so what's next, right? To be quite honest, we don't really know. <laughs> totally winging it as we go along because that's what we wanna do. That's what we did, this, that's what we set out to do in this life was let's not put a bunch of expectations out there. Let's just fly by the seat of our pants and figure it out. And that's honestly where we've been having the best experiences. We did meet up with Forever Arvine down here. They are so much fun to hang out with and so much fun that they are actually going to leave here tomorrow with us and follow us up to Summer Crush Winery. We talked them into getting a Harvest Host membership because duh, it's absolutely worth it. And for those of you who have not seen all of our videos about Harvest Hosting, go check those out because it literally is an RVer's godsend, especially if you're not a good planner like us. Definitely makes laziness look like style. We're gonna go up to Summer Crush again, that winery up in Fort Pierce, and they're following us up there. And then I think we're gonna hit NASA for a few days. So it's gonna be a good time. But what's after that? I don't really know. We've only got like the next few days planned. And quite all right with that. 